halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Alright folks, welcome back to another episode of... Yeah, uh, uh, welcome back to another episode of Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, kind of middle in the cutscene there, which kind of loaded in faster than I expected. But, uh, yeah, so yeah, we can continue on now in the next episode. And as my friend pointed out, I need, I've got to make like an account on uh, the fucking Harry Potter fan club and Warner Brain. What are brothers games count linking thingy majiggy? So I'm gonna try and get that sorted out when the new stream ends. Yeah, you just send me the link, so I appreciate that. So I'm just gonna answer a couple, ask a couple of questions first for continue on. So let's do this. Is Wagadu much bigger than Hogwarts? <laughs> Wagadu School of Magic is the largest wizarding school in the world. So yes, bigger than Hogwarts. But it never seemed intimidating or overwhelming to me. It always felt like home. Is Wagadu a castle like Hogwarts? It addresses Mountains of the Moon. It is not so much a castle as a beautiful edifice carved out of the mountainside. I remember the first time I saw it, the mist was so thick I could hardly make out anything at all. And then it just materialized before me. This enormous school that seemed to be floating in midair. That sounds really magical. This may seem an odd question, but is magic the same there as it is here? Mm, mostly, yes. But I did have to learn how to use a wand when I arrived here. Hardly anyone at Wagadu uses one. You can cast spells without a wand. Oh, yes. I find wandless magic to be much more instinctive. Not to mention quite convenient if one is without their wand. It does I seem like a convenient skill. However, that I am growing quite fond of using a wand. It seems very dramatic. It's nice to learn about another wizarding school. Thank you for asking. I do miss Wagadu, but I am glad to be here at Hogwarts. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Yeah. Until next time. Yeah, until next time. It was nice chatting with you. What the fuck is up with your camp, woman? Of course, you can use a word of If you would. If you're so inclined. You wanted to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? Miss Onai is a talented witch. Take it in stride. One often gains the most from the battles one has lost. Of course, Professor. It was a challenging match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. Oh, no. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Oh, Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Oh, thank you, sir. And thank you for the new spell. He's still level two, which kind of sucks a bit. Two mystery things. I'm gonna talk to this dude. Hello there. You're the new student, aren't you? Oh, yes. Samantha Dale. Hello. You wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day's going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. I hear pages flutterering and it's confusing the fuck out of me where they are. I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, 
He tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. Oh dear. Yeah, something up here. Oh, flame! I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Werewolves, werewolves. You? In the Goblin Rebellion of 1752. And by the of it, the Minister for Magic was Albert Booth. Okay, so, um. How? How do I turn this on? I'm not telling lies, Jeeves. It was Albert Booth. No, it wasn't. It was Basil Flat. Ooh, fight, fight! It's a bold attack! Was the Minister a Booth or the Minister a Flat? Stop it, Peeves, you'll get us in trouble. In trouble you will be, but you can't get Peeves a flag. She says it's a boo, and he says it's a flag. Peeves, enough. Now you'll get us all detention. Two. And you're both wrong anyway. Unicorn? It was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't boots and it wasn't black, but you're all in trouble with Professor Black. <laughs> yes, that's not the one I need. Yes, it's what makes the thing. Wait. Um. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's got to be the opposite way, so that spider must be two. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That has to be. Okay, so that and that makes six, so I need number six. Let's see. Six would be like weird looking thing on the branch. I wonder if I'm doing this right. Oh, wait, the nine. Uh, oh, because then that would be thirteen. Oh, what the fuck is this puzzle? Oh, let's go back to this one over time. How's that Off on another adventure, are we? Who the fuck? Rebellia. Oh, hey, kitty. Please tell me I can pet the cat. Can I pet? <gasps> I can pet the kitty. I'm the baby. <laughs> Serotonin has been given. locked it's got to be like some kind of thing to figure this out we do have to find the one that it is Oh my god. Hold on. I 
Hydra, spider, weird thing, three, wizard, four, spiders, and five. Take oh my god, I generally don't know what the fuck I'm doing! Like, what the fuck even is this? Uh, I'll come back to that another time. I can't figure the fuck out. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most oh, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> Fucking classical bullshit again. <laughs> How am I meant to go through the goddamn door again? Oh, now it's fucking open. Fucking bullshit is this. Did his containment charms, so I took my revenge to wreak havoc and harm. It was granted my privileges to handsome Zeke, so I piled the cannon into the breach. With all the combat to pass, it is my last one. My life is behind me, I promise. Oh, if I could undo any part of this, he's getting his all stressed again. <laughs> Fucking walking through the door. Lucan's just over there. Wrong one. It's this one of these. Can I help you? Hello. Sebastian told me to see you about a club. If Sebastian vouches for you, that's all I need to know. I coordinated duels across swans. A dueling club of sorts. It's invitation only, so you must have really impressed Sebastian. If you can't kick his in kicking his ass as impressed him, then yes. I seem to have a knack for dueling. Then you've come to the right place. How does cross swans work exactly? You show up. I match you with other duelists, and whoever is still standing in the end wins. Oh. It's our way of determining the school's greatest duelist once and for all. And to liven things up, the winner is awarded a prize. Interested? Uh, yeah. Of course. Dueling is an entertaining pastime. I agree. Besides, in cross ones, you could duel with a partner if you like. It's your first time I'll pair you with Sebastian. Next time, you'll need to bring a partner along, or Jewel alone. So, That's it. care to step into the ring? Uh, yeah. Get me in the ring. Spectacular! Let the fireworks begin! We'll make you regret signing up. Ooh, okay, Missy. Uh, break for the yellow shields with control spells like levitation spell, levioso, uh, target lock, here. 
Okay. I gotta fucking hold this shit. Doria Cricket. Fucking did the wrong spell on me. Oh! Oopsie! I knocked something off the wall I shouldn't have. Nice work. Sebastian wasn't wrong about you. There's strong competition ahead, but keep this up and you could be the next full champion. Brilliant. Count me in. I shall. Now, it takes time to organize these duels, but check with me later. I may have something lined up for you. Again, Sweet. congratulations on your first Cross Ones victory. Well fought. Thanks, Hope kid. See you back here again. How nice to see you, my young friend. Okay, I just fucking saw that shit lit. The fuck was up with that? Yes. Oh, sweet, I'm up to level 3 now. Measly have to class. Okay. Oh, level 2. Probably, probably level 2. Better. Why didn't that mean pop up earlier? I can fucking just do travel, duh. I can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Who the fuck? Who the fuck? Where's... Who the fuck said that, though? Oh, I have to go downstairs this time. Damn, almost fell down the fucking stairs. Ah, so once they okay, so they don't actually need to be lit. Oh, 
Christmas magic shears trimming the bush. I don't know what the fuck that wasn't. <gasps> it's another kitty. Hello, baby. Oh, it's a little baby. Hello. Oh my god, a meow! What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, it's a half elf. Hello. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. <laughs> oh, motherfucker just ah, gone by. <laughs> there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief mm -hmm. detour near... What was it you said? Some ruins? I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streamer. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Mm -hmm. I remember that. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign you a first one. Now, I'm sorry, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. Oh, that's wonderful. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. Ooh. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. Can you tell me more about the potion shop, Professor? J. Pippin's potions stocks a wide array of potions ingredients, although they rarely sell recipes. Professor Sharp asked that they have a couple of particular recipes on hand for you. I've never heard of a spellcraft before, Professor. What is it? A spellcraft is a recipe of sorts used when conjuring objects. Oh. I shall explain more about them when you begin working with transfiguration magic. Oh, can I become an Adam, I guess? Please. There's an Ollivander's in Hogsmeade. There is. Most people are familiar with the shop in Diagon Alley. We're fortunate to have someone like him nearby. Mr. Ollivander is a genuine craftsman and highly skilled wand maker. I would trust no one else to pair me with a wand. Where did you go? I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll oh, keep looks like we got... well <laughs> clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand at sorts, mm. Theophilus Harlow, if you can. I Once see. Once you finish Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. So butterbeer is something that miners can have. What the fuck? Ooh, Rapario or Rapero. I got a new spell. <laughs> here 
I've always said that travel broadens the mind. God fucking damn it. Oh, I need repair first. Okay. Alright, so let's go get our repair spell. Find a way there as well. Guess I'm up. He's over here. So I need to actually get the thing locked on first, so... Quest. Sign that. Aha! Here we go. Oh, that was fucking too quick. Oh, is it... Let... I did not mean to fucking touch that! Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Repero. Fixes Repero. things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. Makes sense, A number makes of sense. your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. No I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Repero in no time. Why must I first complete tasks to learn repair? No lesson or lecture can compare to first-hand experience. Mm -hmm. And these tasks should provide you with just that. Such experience is invaluable when mastering any new bit of magic. That's true, that's true. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Click the fine page near the broken statue. Click the fine page and let's go start that out. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Lumos. No, I don't want fucking that one. Got it. Nice. Again, please. Don't get Thank too you. cocky simply. A flying page must be around here somewhere. <laughs> oh, the fuck? It's peeves. Brilliant. Gotcha. Zenobia Noak, the girl whom everyone at school hates for no reason. I'm sorry the other students weren't more friendly. That's kind of you. I suppose there are a few decent souls here. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My oh. gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul-smelling liquid. I haven't much interest in a game that sprays you with odors. Only if you lose, which I never do. Or at least, not often. I don't know who anyone wants to- People can be so cruel. Mm. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. 
Imelda is one of the worst losers. Ever written a story or a terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. <sighs> Rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year to help me. Girl. Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from their hiding spots? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. Right. Whoever hid my gobstones that high got up there somehow. Haven't you any friends at school? Not really. Natty said hello once, but not a word since. This child. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. The fuck? What kind of game is that? No, I'm gonna speak to Professor Ronan first because, uh, yeah. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Yeah, I'll be doing a low. Rebellion. Uh -huh. Well, that's one of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. Uh, you know what's great? I'll always talk to Rona in a moment. I'm gonna... Screw it. I didn't want to do that. I'm gonna do Rona's thing first. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Here we go, here we go, here we go, 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 go. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Ooh. Get this in it, get this in it. Yes! And that's our last zero one. That'd be on B. No, wait. Actually, be on A. Oh, sweet. That's it. Very good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It you got it. Allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Nicely Let's done. Have a look. It works like a charm, doesn't it? Ooh. <laughs> huh. True. Now to go back to finding Zenobia's gobstones. Can I please go inside? Thank you. I like to keep a bit of wiggle room.
how it's all the way up there. Not the flying page, though. Places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Oh, Rebellion. Have a little look, so here's what's up here. one entrance to that class. What are you up to now? Rebellion. Well, that's just mean. Page. Come here. Fucking thing. Unintentionally did this spell because I was trying to get the fucking Revelio one. See where the fucking page was. But I'm a fucking dumbass that faces around got the button. Well, this is certainly dull and foreboding. No, I didn't. Yeah, chick. You'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. It's time to stop. Oh, wait, hold on. Maybe it is. Off on another adventure, are we? Oh, hello. Where even is that thing? Fucking moth do that, whatever it is. I'm one of them fucking door puzzles that can't figure out the life of me. You'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. There you are. Wrong fucking spell. How many you lost it?
I did something accidentally on purpose. another one of these what the fuck i don't know how to figure you out oh my god ah screw you fucking door puzzles it was it hello oh shit uh mm, ah Hello, I'm kind of streaming a game on Twitch, so this is kind of unexpected. <laughs> yeah, you can... I do have my Twitch link in... Well, that was a little unexpected. <laughs> oh my god. Alexis, I am so sorry. But... Oh my god. Ooh. I can get wand handles from this. Oh, hell yeah. Fuck, I'm doing this. Hey, listen to this. Oh, is anybody's gobstones? Okay, so I've got like two more of that to find. Just realized I need to fucking minimize Discord so I can see Twitch chat. Fuck off! There we go. Hey, baby! Wow, I am got a lot of people in chat tonight, Jesus! Ah! Is there someone up there? Nope, I need to go onto the roof. <laughs> uh, my ears are doing fine thank you for checking honey yeah that that was towards me alexis um this is my girlfriend high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones there you are get me you bastard you can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before i invented blue powder oh so that's who was talking about there okay I need to go even higher up for this. Rebellion. Oh, mine. How do I... There you are, you little bastard. You're mine now. The last of Zenobia's gobstones. I should go and see her. Rebellion. At the page I'm having there. Gimme. Oh, hello. What's this? Hogwarts Herbology Award. In recognition for exemplary skill in the field of herbology, Hogwarts so it's a special award upon the seventh year Hufflepuff, Maribel Garlic, from mandrakes to mistletoe to bow tubers to bouncing bulbs. Her work with floral has exceeded all expectations. Ooh! Interesting to know. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. Yeah, yeah, you should be. Gee, how fucking far have I come? Let's see, let's get to this one down here. Actually, no, let's get to this, what, this one down here. And my drink's empty. Damn it. Alright folks, that'll be it for this episode. Make sure to have a like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for future videos. And we will see you in the next one. Bye! -bye.